where you live. Okay? It is it, it is it is it is it is a statement that is eradicating all the fear we have for God as far as in unapproachable. It, this is a statement that is that is showing that when you believe, when you begin to believe in Christ as the source of righteousness that saves you, that that brings you close to God, eh? you, you 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 are in a place you have not understood the the, the value of that place, eh? and that place is is God looks at it first, and he 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 he, 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 he what he he cherishes it, and he does not expect you. To lose that sight of that of that place for something else, we shall be pressurized by religious people to concentrate on what we dwell in. Yes, Christian. We are talking about people who know that you are Christian, but but they also know that where you sleep, where you dwell, is evil. Eh? Chocolate, chichi, 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 chichi. They, are, they are going to they are going to they are going to to, 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 to to shift your faith from God to what where what you do and where you dwell. Are you understanding? Eh? They are going to distract you from your faith in Jesus as a source of righteousness. And, and you begin to concentrate on your morals. <laughs> the message is saying in all that you shouldn't lose track of where your righteousness comes from yeah? the word dwell used in, in, in Revelation 2.13 also implies temporariness hmm? no value so the people it is true or oh, you know value Kubanga, that context is what is evil. Ne, ne, this this text is, is is talking about at that moment. Ngatona vayo. Eh, ngatona vayo. Obo na rosa kuku vayo. Oba ne katole sibi ayogira ko. Katonda ayogira mu moment e yo ngatona kola chi. Ngatona vayo nga jori nga you dwell there nga you are actively there akase rako. You shouldn't lose faith in him. I know where you live, where you dwell. I know what you do. And in all this, yet you remain true to faith in me. May God bless you. Amen.